Okay, now, um, in your AS, uh, you actually uh, started using this formula, which is E equals to V over D, to find the field strength of a uniform field. Uh. But actually, uh, V over D by itself is a, is a name of a certain term. It's called the potential gradient. There's a name to it. It's called potential gradient. So what is potential gradient? It's just merely taking the PD between two plates, for example, these two plates, and divided by dividing by their separation. So that is called potential gradient. So for example, if you have two parallel plates, if you want to find the potential gradient between these two plates, you take this potential difference, which is V minus 0 over the D. La. Then you get E equals to V over D. Okay, so I'll give you an example. For example, the top here is 12 volts and the bottom one is 0 volts and the separation is 6 centimeters. So the potential gradient, just take the difference between the two potentials. So 12 minus 0 divided by 6 centimeters, you get 2 volt per centimeter. Right now. now, for a uniform field, you will notice something very um, important. If I take a point somewhere in the middle here, what will be the potential? Since this is 0 volts, this is 12 volts. So what's the potential in the middle? 6 volts, right now. So if this is 6 volts and we find the potential gradient between this and this, the potential difference will be 6 minus 0 over 3 centimeters, which I will end up with also 2 volt per centimeters. In fact, if you take the potential gradient between any two points within the field, you will get the same answer. Why? Because the potential gradient for a uniform field is always constant. And because of that, we will see that the potential will increase uniformly with distance. Meaning to say, if this is uh, 12 volts, uh, here we are, if this is 12 volts, 12 volts, then this will be 6 volts, this will be 3 volts, and this will be 9 volts. So every 1.5 centimeters, it increases by 3 volts, 3 volts, 3 volts, 3 volts. So you will notice that for a uniform field, the potential must increase uniformly with distance. That is a characteristic. Why? Because the potential gradient between any two points must be always the same. Lah. So how did we use, uh, or how did we uh, relate this potential gradient, which is V over D, to field strength? Okay, there's a derivation in the next slide. Okay, so let's try to derive this. So let's say there are two uh, plates here, positive and uh, negative, and let's say the PD between them is, let's say, Q, I'm uh, sorry, V. Uh, so let's say the PD between them is V. Uh. So if I were to move a proton uh, from here to here, the energy change, remember, is W equals to QV. At the same time, because it's a uniform field, the work done is also force times distance. Uh. So you get force times distance. Uh. So the work done will become the change in energy. So QV equals to F times D. La. So you will, see, you will equate this to Q, uh, QV equals to F times D. So if you bring the Q over, get F over D, F over Q, and you bring the D over, get V over D. So you get QV equals FD, so you get F over Q equals to V over D. La. So F over Q is also the uh, expression for field strength. So that's how we got field strength. So we change this to field strength, and then that equals to V over D. But you must put a negative yourself. So you add the negative at the end. Why? Huh? Because field strength is a vector. So it has a direction. Remember, the direction of field strength follows the direction of the force acting on a positive test charge. In other words, if I were to put a positive charge, it will move downwards in the direction of the field. Right? But it also means that this is positive, higher potential. This is lower potential negative so the field strength which is pointing downwards is pointing in the direction of decreasing potential so the, therefore the field strength is equal to negative means it's pointing in the direction of decreasing potential that's all it means but don't worry since field strength is a vector when you calculate the field strength you don't need to put a negative you only put a negative when you plot graphs because you need to show relationship Okay, so therefore, what's the relationship between field strength and potential gradient? You must write this. The field strength is equal to the negative of the potential gradient at any point. Huh? So if it's a uniform field, then it's just V over D. But if it is not a uniform field, then we must draw the tangent first, uh, then find the gradient or tangent so it's not constant. Huh? Okay, that means the gradient of the V versus X graph or V versus D graph. Okay?